I was listening to um was it I was listening to a bit of Scars of Time today when I was procrastinating a bit at work. Um you know, just between things and yeah, I was just thinking about Chrono Cross. I was thinking, um Yeah, it's got such a great intro, I've got some great music themes. And then uh, I just have to remind myself of the sort of game it turned out to be. And look, I don't know if this will ever make it on YouTube to the wider audience, so I'm more than happy to have to face criticisms on my view of Chrono Cross. But, um, yeah, it, I think it just leaned so heavily into Chrono tr Trigger, and it didn't really sort of... St it didn't stand on its own enough, I think. I think particularly towards the end of the game, the Satori line just basically depended on Chrono tr Trigger. And I felt like it could have stood better and sort of done, um, sort of done its own thing. But, yeah, there were subtle parts of it I really enjoyed. Um, the battle system I enjoyed a whole lot more than maybe I would have expected. Um, Kid, or as I called her, um, well, what did I call Kid in my playthrough? Katie, yeah, yeah, Katie. Katie is an amazing character. Kitty is an amazing character. I um, she'd be one of my favourite favourite female protagonists for sure. Maybe the favourite. Maybe. Nice, nice hit there, Zuz. Um, and the game had a good soundtrack. Probably the best tunes were just. Chrono Trigger remixes, but still great. Um, yeah, um, the game had some challenging fights, particularly early, some really good, tough boss fights. I think it's the first time you go into the marshlands that you've got like there's like two or three like boss or boss-ish fights in quick succession and it's just nuts uh, I remember it just being intense particularly early on but I feel like the game held up pretty well really um, it's just that, yeah, the storyline sort of stuff towards the end that wasn't a big fan of, but, yeah. Oops, oh, you should be changing weapon. Let's do a two strike here. Or not. The sprite looks great with the sword. Okay. Last one is, for now, obviously, there'll be more leveling of weapons to do in the future. Last one is the bow. Drop five attack. Thank you, off screen, Karen. Actually, Katie, or Kid, was, was an amazing character. <laughs> she was amazing. Um, and it did get weird with her character at, at, at the end, but man, everything in that game got weird at, at the end. I like the whole having to piece bits together. Like, um, yeah, sort of learning 
everything about how it all comes together we're just sort of avoiding spoilers but yeah um, that was kind of cool too um, yeah I think it was so dry enough to just stand on on its own two feet more than it, it did You know, there are a lot of people, and perhaps, you know, rightfully so, who were upset about the remaster and, and the performance of it, but without that I would, would never have played it, plus I didn't have the experience of playing the original to compare it to, so, yeah, it was good. Level 16, levels a uh, little bit slow here now, but that's okay, I need to get used to slow leveling because there's going to be a lot of that. Would I play Chrono Cross through again? Um, Sweet, level E, eleven. Would, would I play Chrono Cross through again? Um, well, it, it helps that there's like a new game plus mode, so that would give me a chance of playing it through again. Because I wouldn't mind getting some of the characters that I that I completely missed. Um, Glenn being one of them, and Glenn also being the one I was actually looking forward to seeing, but. I just completely missed him early on, and that was it. And then, oh, that's that's probably a spoiler. Right. Well done, Zoos. That's why they call you the Jelly Man. I should do some Sadok uh, buy some armor. Some of the armor I can't get. Which will be. I don't think the power wrists drop from anybody. Do they? Cobra bracelets drop from Water Thugs. Which. I can pick up either in the upper land or at the walled palace just before the uh, up before the upper land before the hydra fight but power wrists don't drop so I might pick those up and spiky suits two spiky suits yeah and the rabbi cap there's a uh, no, no. The quill cap is dropped from one of the enemies. It might be the. Is it the Nemesis Owl? Is that the name of the enemy in the upper land? Um. Yeah, quill cap drops maybe from them. But the cap here, the rabbi cap, does not. So I'll buy that too. Assuming he hasn't already got it equipped. Why is there no pause button? What is that? What is this card? Rules for drawing stud poker? What a pity, Mr. Bond! Oh, I need to go get the axe. I need to go get the axe and we're gonna level it up. 
So I guess this is storyline progression. <sighs> Should we talk to him? Yeah. Yep. Wheels? Mighty special. You could even smash a boulder with it. Or I could just climb over the boulder. Well, that's not really smashing it. Take it with you for 100 bucks. Yeah, right. Yeah, it's probably worth it. But you could, you could climb over a boulder. Unless it's blocking... Yeah, blocking a path and there's like a ledge or... You know what I mean. Thank you for the shortcut. However, I probably won't probably just go the other way and get more experience. Do I have an orb? I do have an orb! Of course, from Tropic Callo, yeah. We got a lot of collecting to do. Well, if you start with the spear, I'll go on the axe. Oh, that's nice. It'd be cool if this sort of coming back here with the axe unlocked something because you could knock down the path. Anyway. Oh, take that. I'm gonna bash that bat with an axe and you can't stop me. <laughs> it's so nice before you can charge a weapon to be able to just do the free flowing backward step. Oh yeah, that's nice. That is nice. Just seem to always need cleaning. So annoying. Cool. Axe reaches level one. You know what else reaches level one? Imperialism. Yeah, that's right. I went there. I went there. You heard me. Um, it's interesting that, um, yeah, I think there's a whole wealth of PS1 games, PS1 RPGs that I just have not played. Chrono Cross is the only PS1 RPG I've played. So... If, uh... These videos haven't sort of gone to the public, unquote, yet, but... If anyone is listening to this and can suggest one... Can suggest a PS1 RPG to... To check out, that would be cool. I've not played the, um, yeah, I know, I mean, I mean, there's a whole lot of Final Fantasies on PS1. Candy. Um, yeah, I just... Yeah. But I don't know, I just haven't sort of had that much of an interest, but I'm sure, I'm sure there are some good ones there. I think the early 3D stuff on the PS1, a lot of that has not aged very well at, at all, but there's, I'm sure there's some good 2D stuff there. Um, yeah. So did he actually break those rocks as the CPU control player? Interesting. Has this got the speed to two yet? I don't think so. I think I've got the axe to one, but I've got nothing else to go on to. 
Oh, says he has. Well, that's time for us to swap. Kill. Okay. I'm gonna enjoy this. I'm one of your cousins you don't see very often. Bart, Bart. This is why I get whacked. Yeah, there you go. The CPU player can definitely break those. The axe. The axe breaky bits. Because I can't think of a proper term at the moment. The axe breaky bits. Mm hmm. Kill, kill. That was bad. That was. That was bad. Well, I've got the money to spend, and money's not really going to be a problem. So. Oh, look at that. Spears on level 2. I'll do the level 2 charge. Oh, yeah. Oh, should we go back to. Could go back to Kippo. Could go back. Probably need to go back to. Where do we need to go back to, Tubby? Probably. Uh, Nico's to stock up on chocolates. And Royal Jams. I think I've only got three. I reckon you get much less traps the more. Yeah, the more you level up. So there must be some stat. It must be based on the enemy's stats as well. Like the likelihood of, of, of a trap. The enemy's level compared to yours. Because I know that the enemy's the enemy does have a programmed level, is my understanding. But all enemies of that same type have the same level, so it's probably one of their stats. So he's on 12, that's good. That's, that's not bad, that's not bad. Should we voyage out? Right, time to go suit up, hey? With spiky suits. I wanna walk backwards in your store. Right. Oh boy, thanks. We need a couple of spikies. You can't pick up power wrists, so I'll, I'll get three of those. But you can't buy ether. Classic proceeding. Uh, okay, rabbi cap. Let's get equipped with spiky suit. Right. If you go from overalls to spiky suit, which is what I've tra tra traditionally done, or what my brother and I traditionally do, then uh, yeah, it's just. That's quite a quite a big jump. Actually, Tropicalo must be a whole lot easier if you pick up the chain vest first. Anyway. So is that a cap? Worn by rabbits, or is it a cap made out, out of rabbits? I don't think it's a cap made out of rabbits. I think it's a cap that's supposed to look like the head of a rabbit. Yeah, yeah, of course. So he can't wear overalls. Right. Spiky suits. Yep, headgear and rabbit cap. Two spiky suits. Powerists. It'd be good if he accidentally sold you uh, battle suits instead of spiky suits. I mean, they look pretty similar. Let's let's head head back. 
Might just make our way to to Kippo. 